um, hi, I was um, off radar a bit yesterday and probably by tomorrow I'll be um, back Instagramming with a vengeance. Um, it's not often that I don't post um, a picture of my book. Uh, it's something that I just, I love doing it. I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, what's a new way of um, advertising random attachment? And I might think of getting some flowers from the garden or putting other books in an arrangement. It's just funny what um, what I've ended up enjoying doing since um, I've become disabled. Um, you know, if if this ha if myelopathy hadn't happened to me, I would never have been a writer because it's not something that I ever uh, wanted to do or you know felt I had a calling to do. I would have just got on kind of being a teacher and going to the gym and raising my kids, cooking, gardening, so many things now that, that I can't do. But I have found writing to bridge that gap, especially now that my youngest is uh, 18 in two weeks time and we're having like a, a party for him and we've got uh, friends coming from Ireland and you know he's the last of um, you know my little ones they just don't need me like they used to do when they're little it's all it's all consuming their you know that their, their need to be with you and be in your company and you know I, I love being a mum I, I just it's, it's just the best thing in the world um, and you know, I don't want my kids to not do everything they should be doing and having loads of adventures because, you know, they've got to think of me. Um, I'm somebody who needs to find things for myself so that I don't, I'm not reliant on my husband all the time and on my children because they need to get off and do their thing. And, and I think that's writing has, has just filled that gap for me and because with writing writing was one thing so I thought to myself right I'm gonna write a book and I knew in my mind exactly the type of book that I wanted to write because I wanted it to be like vampire diaries but without the vampire bit because I thought vampires has been really overdone and that that was one thing and then I finished that book and I went on to write a couple of more books and then I decided to try and get published. And I think this, and I found Instagram and I'm really enjoying Instagram so much. I, I wanna say thank you to all the lovely people who have, um, you know, followed me and become my Insta buddy and who have reviewed Random Attachment and said lovely things about it. And, you know, even if you reviewed it and didn't say lovely things about it, I still think it's great that you've read my book and that you're you're giving me time because time is so precious and everyone is so busy and there's just so many brilliant books out there to read. Like, it's funny what overwhelms me. And I know when I get overtired or pain gets a bit much for me because one of the things that worries me is that I'm never gonna be able to get to read all these books. So now I know that if I have that feeling, ah, oh, I, I, I might be getting into that danger zone where I feel a bit, I feel, I feel a bit down. Um, and then I worry that I've got so many great books in me and I'm just not gonna be able to, to get them out there. And that was happening a bit yesterday. I felt a bit anxious about, about my reading and about my writing and I knew I'd overdone it. I was tired and the pain breaks through all those barriers when, when you start to get anxious. Um, because I think with chronic illness, um, disability comes, you know, depression and um, issues with your, your, men, your mental well-being. And I have had about this time last year I did. I was with the adult mental health unit, and I did feel in in quite a dark place. But I think I've totally turned that turned that corner now because I'm able to recognise like the triggers um, and and calm things down and rest a lot so that um, I don't get myself feeling down. 
Um, but I do feel for all you guys out there who do suffer from depression and mental illness, you know, it, it's such a debilitating thing and, you know, we tend to go inward when these things happen and not talk about it and and it's really really important that when you're feeling low and feeling down that you have got someone to talk to and share with and books are just the most like brilliant thing because they take you into another world and for a period of time you're not thinking about yourself or your own worries a good book will just really really support you with your with your mental well-being and um, every time I feel a bit down and I say, right, I'm not going to Instagram, I'm not going to think about my writing and put myself under any pressure about selling my book, I'm going to settle down and see if I can read. And um, yesterday I did lots of snoozing um, and when my vision improved, I read The Wife Between Us. I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, Greer Hendricks and Sarah... Uh, Peckenham and it's such a good thriller easy you know you know you'll read it in a day two days at the most it's just it's like it's really gripping um and I've got great books like The Woman in the Window I haven't read that yet and The Hunting Party um and then there's my baby um Random Attachment and on the front is my baby too uh, that's my uh youngest daughter and not that she was too happy about being there but i had to put something on the front cover and i wanted to make it as personal and about uh, me and my family as i could so that maybe in years to come when i've passed on and my daughter if she has children um she can show them this book and say well nanny wrote that and look who's on the front uh and my kids have been very supportive um, at no point did they say, oh, mum, you know, you'll never get it published or, you know, it was very, okay, you wrote a book, but, um, you know, nothing's ever going to happen with it. They said, no, get it out there and try and get it published. And I, for a while I had an agent and I've had a lot of adventures now that I've become a, a writer. And it's funny because uh, when I was at the hospital the other day um, having an ultrasound done, somebody was saying oh you know what do you do and I say oh I, I don't do anything now I was a teacher and I think no hold on wait I do do something I'm a writer and I thought oh I wish I, I wish I'd said that now but um I, I am getting it into my head and feeling that yes I am a writer and I can and this is like a job for me now I love it but I want to think, right, I've got to get up, I've got to get onto my, into my little mini office, which is just over there. It's just a table and chairs, but I like to think of it as my little mini office. And get there and Instagram and, and get on with um, The Rebirth of Henry Whittle, which actually was my first book, but it will now be my second book because I'm kind of working on it a lot. Um, and that's all I've got to say. Thank you everybody who's followed me on Instagram and who's bought my book and who's reviewed my book. You know, you are, you're doing so much more than actually just buying a book. You're really supporting somebody who uh, is very grateful for your, for your time and um, for the support. So thank you, especially so many people like cross-stitching Laura and um, and infinite the odd socks and and there's just so many of you that and my, and I, my brain is fuddled so I can't remember and you've been so fantastic and um, if I disappear for a few days I will I will come back you'll probably think oh god no don't don't come back uh, because sometimes my, my girls say to me mum you're not trolling people no trolling you're not trolling people on Instagram are you trying to get them to read your book and I think I probably do a little bit sometimes and I can't remember who I've contacted and then I think maybe I'm contacting the same people two or three times because um, I'm going to Turkey shortly and you have to have visas for Turkey um, which I'd forgotten last time I went uh, and so I, I had it written down got to get these visas done and then what I've done is I've I haven't told my husband this, but I've actually gotten us visas twice now um, because I just I do something and then the next day I forget that I've done it and 
I try to write everything down, and, but then I forget to write it down. I mean, it's like saying, do a list when you go shopping, but then you can't remember where you've put your list. Well, that's kind of what it's like for me. And um, I think r working on my books really helps me focus my mind. Um, and it's so much easier typing words than talking them. Um, I find it quite draining to talk and sometimes I'm in a sentence and I, I kind of, I just give up halfway because it's such a, an effort to try and find the words. But um, I, do, I don't have those difficulties when I write. I really feel like much more my old self. And, I, and I've got so many ideas and I do get frustrated that, you know, sometimes illness and my pain and, you know, when my spine is playing me up and I can't sit down at the table. Those things are all really frustrating for me, but I have to find a happy middle ground where um, I don't get down um, because that's really not a good place to be. I've been there and for all of you that suffer from any mental illness, like, you know, I'd like to say I've got your back because I, I know how horrendous it, it is. And we all get it for different reasons and you don't have to have a chronic illness to have it. All sorts of, there's so many triggers for, for people. Um, but I do think it's just lovely having Instagram and thank you so much. Um, I see, I, I've already said that, I know, but I'm gonna say, you can never say thank you enough. Um, thank you so much for um, sharing my book, for reviewing Random Attachment, for being patient with me when I'm probably harassing you, and I'm going now. Bye.